Hello everybody and welcome to the November unboxing for the stationery selection. All right, so confession time. I did take a peek at the items and I just want to warn you, there was an audible gasp from me. We did not get any sneaks from this kit whatsoever. Honestly, I wasn't even sure there was going to be a November kit um, because it was just very quiet for all of the DT members in October. So let's jump in. All right. All right. So I've got the paper here. Quick little bit of housekeeping. There is no January box, which I can totally get on board with. Um, it's just very hard. This time of year, November through January, is just crazy with travel and holidays and all that. So not upset one bit about that. I mean, obviously I'm upset. I would prefer to have stationery, but I also respect Mitz and her family and their boundaries and their time. And I just love her for that. So the first item, and something I do want to say is that this kit is so cohesive, it hurts. All right. The first item are these cool like cafe inspired stickers. We've got lots of coffee and pastries. Super cute. I think it's really interesting to um, to see what Mitz chooses, and I think she's a thing for coffee or tea, but who am I? All right, the next item is this cosmetic motif film sticker. There are um, eight sheets, five designs, so there's eight of each design. How cool is this packaging? Doesn't it look like a little makeup container, but they're like, they're little page flags. So it's not adhesive on one side and then there's adhesive on the other side, but we've got this neon yellow, this really cool like tie dye, this periwinkle, the gold flecking, and then this silver grid, which I think is really fun. Sorry for my manicure. It is long overdue. That's a chore for another day this week. <laughs> So yeah, those are really cool. Those are a new release and um, yeah, so it's supposed to resemble like an eye shadow palette. So, and I love the colors. They're very bold. The next item is this really interesting, it's, it's a pen. It's from um, Pentel and it's the Matte Hop. And there's a 1.0 nib on it. So it's very chunk, very big pen nib there. Not messing around with this. And I suspect the color is um, probably this coral color, but we will test it out in the end. Mint said that she tried it out at a random stationery store and immediately fell in love with the writing experience. So I don't think I will hate it either. The next, oh, okay, I forgot about these. So this is a pack of three empty slim tapes. I'm going to go ahead and take them out of the packaging. And if I'm being honest, I don't typically play around with slim tapes because I find that the adhesive isn't super great. Um, there's not a lot of material for the adhesive to stick to because it's very thin. But these designs are really cute. We've got a, gray, a gray, like, florally type of color. I'll bring them all in closer in a second. We've got a like an orange and purple, maybe florally, maybe blobby. And then maybe these are all florals, but it's hard to tell because they're kind of grid-like. And the lighting in my room isn't great either right now. So hopefully you can see All right, the next item is this adorable little notepad, and I'm sorry about the lighting. Giant cloud just came over. It's about to get super bright again. Um, but I was excited to see this because this is from a creator that I have loved for years, since probably like 2015, I think, maybe 2016. And this creator, is um, Eric Small Things, and she's been a stamp carver for a really long time, and she's recently gotten into these more digital designs that are 
kind of in the same pattern as her normal artwork, but they're more digitized, which I think is adorable. So we've got this little city scene. I love this little sign. This one's got lines. We've got stationery, coffee, and a record shop, which is super cute. And then we've got this horizontal bordered one for the coffee shop. And then we've got another horizontal one with a grid. This is just all stationary. We've got some ink, the stationary store, and then the actual shop sign, which is the best. And then finally, we have this yellow bordered one with another sign and this cute little delicate like windowscape. So this is super cute. I was very surprised to see this maker on here. Um, just because her, her, her stuff is like kind of ex exclusive almost maybe not exclusive but not as easy to get um she does like not huge batches of stuff so that was really exciting I'm kind of leading you guys on a little bit I'll be honest um but the next couple of items I think are going to give it away um obviously this one is I'm trying to peel the tape off all right, so the next item is this mini Sachihara ink thing, ink pad, <laughs> words. Um, and it, it's this very deep plum color, which you guys know we're gonna test with what possible item could it be. I'm going to make you drool and wait, as if you guys have probably not already seen this entire thing. I'm gonna give you another sneaky peek. So here is this pack of 60 sheets. Um, it's a little notepad from Midori. And the cool thing about this is that there's different kinds of paper in here. So you've got this um, regular white um, and gray bordered notepad. Then you've got, and it's not adhesive. Then you've got this really awesome craft and it is adhesive. And then you go to the very back and you have a, an, 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 adhesive like cream color which I die I love maybe this is adhesive okay so they are all adhesive they're just divided by this little like divider block guy so if you wanted to separate them if you didn't want them all together you could and it would still have its little backer sheet um but yeah that's cool they're all adhesive so any guesses on what's coming <laughs> any guesses at all my gosh what I was blown away first of all I was stunned I did not think that this was going to be um anything we would see um just because these stamps can be quite expensive but let's open it up because I can't wait to get into this all right so this is from the Sachihara brand still, so it's the same brand as this ink pad. And can you guys tell what's happening? The, oh, this thing is, oh, it feels so nice. This brushed metal just feels very clean. It feels very sturdy. Um, this even has like a satin sort of vibe to it, so it's really nice. Love, 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 love. And then we've got all the border designs. So we've got lots of florals and lots of checks and like other lines. And this beautiful bow, which if it doesn't look familiar to you, why? How? How could it not? How exciting! I mean, come on. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and start playing. Oh, it's already on the bow. So let's just go ahead and start with that. One of the reasons I love these Sachihara um, ink pads is the ink pad itself is like kind of hard. Ooh, look at that. All right, let's do a floral. It doesn't mush, so there's a little bit less mess. You're not squeezing the ink out and creating like a big mess on your actual stamp pad, which I appreciate. Let's do some dots. So this is going to be perfect in our planners, maybe the planner we just got recently. Oh gosh, there's a bug. Get out of here. 
This is the price I paid for having my windows open this morning. So cute. I love this, this style ink. The color is kind of dark. That's not going to stop me from using it. Not ever. Okay, so let's test this pen. <gasps> All right, sorry about that. My phone got cut off, but one thing I wanted to show you guys about this ink pen um, is that it is a heavy inker. So because the um, the ball size is so large, it sounds terrible, 12 year old, um, but it does allow the ink to come out quite heavily. I don't mind that. I like that. It's not like a turn off or anything for me, but just to have you guys aware, it is a really nice writing experience. I do really like the writing experience. I really like it. I like the color. I think it's very bold and it goes really well with the other items in this month's kits. There's lots of very bold colors, which I really like. Um, but yeah, so that's the kit. <laughs> um, I'm sorry that the video got cut off there. The alarm um, on my phone went off and for some reason it stops the recording. But yeah, I think this is really fun. All the items in here are great. I love this stamp. Um, one thing that was cut off that I didn't realize was I did go ahead and pull out the Nolte that we got last month and I put on one of the little tabs from this guy and then I stamped this box with our new stamp and then I just used that really thin washi tape to show that you could create a barrier or a border to divide your page a little bit. This fits perfectly in um, the planner and this, I mean, you could easily cut it down if you wanted to, but I don't mind it. I think it's cool. So that's really exciting. Sorry about the bug. It's what you get when you leave your window open. Um, but yeah, so that's really fun. I still really love this. I cannot wait to use it. It's so interesting. Um, but yeah, so that's the kit. We've got this really fun notepad, which again can easily be used to add in something that you need to add in really quickly. I just, I don't know. Mitz has a very amazing mind when it comes to trying to find items and make sure that they're sort of useful. So, cause that's kind of the point, but I, I don't know, her brain is amazing to me. So all these items are really fun. They're very colorful. They're very bright and poppy. And yeah, I'm excited to play with all of these fun new items. So that's the kit. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I will catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye.